priorities, and we'll continue to do uh, Zoom as well. Just a quick disclaimer by participating, uh, you are releasing myself and Prosperous Yoga from uh, liability. And with no further ado, let us begin. Hi, happy Saturday. Again, this is our last Saturday uh, working together. We're going to be doing Tuesdays at noon, so hopefully you can take, uh, you know, a, a little self-care break on your lunch to join us uh, on Tuesdays at 12, or you can catch the recordings on, um, on YouTube, our Prosperous Yoga YouTube page. If you go to YouTube and you just search Prosperous Yoga, we'll show up. And the recordings from our past Gentle Yoga for All Bodies are up there as well. If there was um, a class that really worked for you and you want to repeat it, you can find it up on our YouTube. So uh, we're going to be super gentle today. Grab a blanket. Grab a pillow. We're going to spend uh, quite a bit of time seated meditating and breath work uh, this afternoon. So please make take time right now to set yourself up so that you can sit for uh, some time, 10, 15 minutes comfortably. We don't want to be um, physically fidgeting. We want to make sure that we set ourselves up so that we can concentrate on our breath and our meditation and our breath work instead of um, maybe uncomfortable feelings we might have. So set yourself up. I'm sitting up on a bolster today, or you can sit up on a pillow or a yoga block or up in a chair if you have cranky knees. My knees are pretty cranky today. Okay, and we're going to start just by uh, settling in and welcoming ourselves. Gently closing the eyes if you feel comfortable. And just bringing our mind and our bodies into this present moment. Firstly, taking a moment to notice whatever surface the body may be touching, whether you're seated in a chair or seated on the floor, cross-legged or up on a pillow like I am. Just take a moment to notice how the body is connecting to the ground or the surface underneath. From there, begin to construct a really tall spine. So sometimes it helps to kind of press backwards a little bit, um, to lean back a little bit in space. We tend to lean forward when we're sitting. So if you just lean back slightly until you feel the abdominals engage just a little bit, you'll be sitting up nice and tall. You should feel a real nice stacking of the vertebrae in the spine. That goes all the way up to the neck. The chin is parallel to the ground. Let's take the shoulders up to the ears on an inhale. Squeezing them up nice and high and then exhale, roll them back gently. So the shoulder blades are slightly squeezed together, just creating a nice open space in the chest and the heart space. Next, we'll bring our palms onto our lap, face up, to uh, invite some, excuse me, some inquiry, face up to uh, show some receptivity to whatever may be, or face down on the lap to invite some more grounding. If you feel unsettled today, face down palms might be the way for you. Now start to bring the attention to the breath. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> Let anything go that isn't serving you anymore. Inhale deeply through the nose. Sigh it out, <sighs> let it go. One more just like that, deep inhale through the nose. Filling up the belly and the lungs. Deepest inhale yet. <sighs> Exhale, take it all out. Good. Next, we're going to practice uh, pranayama or breath work. Um, this one is about balancing the sides of the body. We're going to be taking air in through one nostril, 
holding it and releasing it through the same nostril and then going to the other side, Nadi Shodana, and uh, is, is the Sanskrit name for what this breath work is called. Uh, it really helps to level out the nervous system, empty out the lungs, any um, stale air that might be in there. Um, and it's all about balance because we're going to be doing one side at a time and balance is so very difficult um, at, you know, at this stage in our lives and in society and the state of the world. So let's work on uh, creating some balance within ourselves together. So um, take your right hand, your right palm up in front of your face and take the, I'm going to come a little bit closer actually so you can see me. We're going to take the right palm in front of the face here mm -hmm. and we're going to take the pointer and middle finger and just tuck them in. So we have what's called a mudra here in the hand and we're going to use the thumb to close the right nostril which means when we inhale, we're going to be inhaling through the left nostril. After we inhale, a nice, slow, steady inhale through the left nostril only, we're going to hold both nostrils closed for a moment. Then we're going to release the thumb so that we're exhaling out the right nostril. Pause for a second at the bottom of the breath, and then we'll inhale through the right nostril, nice and slow. Close it up and hold it for another second, and then exhale, release through the left nostril pause, inhale through the left nostril, and we'll repeat the cycle. I know it's a lot for me to say all at once, but I'm going to guide you through it several times and then give you a few moments to practice it on your own. Okay, so let's begin. And if this is really uncomfortable for your hand, holding your hand like this, just use your pointer finger and your, um, and your thumb. Okay, so the hand comes in front of the face. We use whatever um, hand position is working best for us today. And we take the thumb of the right hand to the right nostril, close it off. Okay, close the eyes if you feel comfortable. Okay, and inhale through the left nostril, two, three, four. Hold both nostrils closed and hold the breath just for a moment here. Now we're going to release the thumb, opening the right nostril, and exhale through the right nostril. Pause a second when you're empty, and then take a nice deep inhale through the right nostril. Close both nostrils and hold the breath. Feel the air circulating inside the lungs. Breath, our life force. Release the left nostril and exhale all the air through the left nostril. Pause for a moment. Inhale through the left nostril only. Fill it up and then seal it up. Close both nostrils. Hold. Release the thumb. Exhale through the right nostril. Nice and slow. Pause at the bottom of the breath. Inhale through the right nostril. Pause. Hold both nostrils, hold the breath in. Release the left nostril, exhale through the left nostril. Continue doing this on your own, to your own breath. I will no longer guide you with my voice, but I'll sit here and go through a couple rounds with you as well. After you've completed three cycles, um, your last exhale will be out the left nostril, then return to a normal breath and we'll wait for everyone to uh, meet at the same place, okay? So you've probably finished one round by now, so I'm going to do two here.
next time you exhale out of your left nostril, release the hand back to your lap. Welcome a regular breath. And I'd like you to take a moment here to scan the body, scan the body from head to toe and then toes back to head. Do you feel calmer than you did before we started? How does the body feel different? How does the mind feel different? Take another 30 seconds here sitting in silence to simply observe the way the body is feeling without any judgment. Good, and slowly blink, open the eyes if they're closed, and we're gonna start to move, all right? Cool, so uh, if you're seated cross-legged and your legs are getting a little antsy, you're welcome to shake them out, change the crossing of the legs, cool. And we're gonna get started right, with some nice neck rolls, some juicy neck rolls, so drop the chin into the chest, and then we're just gonna rock the ear from shoulder to shoulder. Nice and gentle. Inhale one direction, exhale the other direction. Just marrying the breath with the movement, however is working for you this lovely Saturday afternoon. <sighs> Good. Make sure you've gone to both sides an even amount of time, so. One more time right, one more time left, and we will meet in the center with our chins tucked into our chest. Clasp the hands and bring them behind the nape of the neck. Start to gently pull the chin in further to the chest. You want to think of the crown of the head going um, up, like there's some energy shooting out of the crown of the head. That way you're lengthening the back of the neck so that you're really getting a nice stretch in between each vertebra of the spine of the upper spine of the neck here the elbows will start to kind of try to come towards one another in order to help increase the stretch and we're breathing deeply the whole time three deep inhales and exhales here on the inhale see if you can send the breath to all those sticky spots in the neck and shoulders on the exhale See if you can release some of the tension in the neck and maybe even fold a little bit deeper into the stretch. Good. Now we're going to start to rock the chin from side to side, right to left, with the hand still clasped behind the head. So this should feel really good getting into like the sides of the neck a little bit more, the tops of my shoulders. Just a really nice, gentle rock. I'm helping push my head along with my hands, but really my chin is guiding the movement here. Breathing nice and deep the whole time. One more time to the right side, through the center, to the left side. We'll meet back in the middle, chin to chest. Draw the palms back to the, knee, to the uh, lap and slowly roll the chin back up so that we're uh, sitting nice and tall, good. We are going to do some big shoulder rolls. Um, we're going to try to kind of fatigue these muscles in our shoulders. Uh, if you're somebody that gets uh, knots in your shoulders and the muscles in your shoulders and your neck, so what's happening there is our muscles have two states, right? They're either uh, length elongated, excuse me, lengthened and they're resting, right? Or they're um, contracted, they're working. So what happens with the muscle knot is somehow, for some reason, the muscle kind of gets trapped in this like contracted or semi-contracted state. And that's what causes a muscle knot. So we're going to try to uh, really get deep into some shoulder rolls here to try to kind of fatigue any muscles that might be kind of stuck and trying to uh, continuously be contracted in hopes that they'll relax and let go. Okay little anatomy lesson for you there here at gentle yoga for all bodies so what I would like you to do is in your seat whether you're seated in a chair or on the ground we're gonna make sure that our elbows maintain a 90 degree angle and we want our elbows to stay at this 90 degree angle the whole time we don't want the hands to come up like this 
or to fall down like so, right? We're doing our best to keep this 90 degree angle at our elbows and the palms, the wrists are, are um, level with my forearms, okay? As we inhale, we're going to take the shoulder blades, the sh excuse me, the tops of the shoulders up to the ears, really squeezing as tightly as you possibly can. If you think you're squeezing as tight as you can, squeeze even tighter. Go, really, really, really challenge yourself here, okay? Leaving the shoulders squeezed up to the ears, we're going to start to draw the shoulder blades together. See how my elbows are kind of trying to come connect behind my back, but they're still maintaining that 90 degrees. Right now, I am feeling some muscles in my shoulders that I don't think I've utilized in a very long time, okay? Now I'm going to start to press my palms down, and that's going to bring my whole shoulder, shoulder girl down closer towards my hips, okay? Now they're going to circle around, and then the fronts of my shoulders are going to try to touch each other uh, across my chest, right? Of course, they're not going to get there, but that's what I'm trying to do, okay? And then we're going to repeat the whole cycle. Flip the palms up and use the palms to lift the whole shoulder girl, to really squeezing the tops of the shoulders to the bottoms of the ears. Then we leave the shoulders as lifted as we can as we slowly start to draw those shoulder blades together. Really trying to fatigue these muscles. Elbows are trying to meet behind the back. And then I flip my palms and start to press the whole shoulder girl down into the ground. Good. And my shoulders come around to the front, trying to meet in front of my chest. I flip my palms and we re return. We be begin the cycle again. Inhaling. Really pulling up on the shoulder girdle exhaling trying to get those elbows to meet behind the back squeezing the shoulder blades flipping the palms and pressing the whole shoulder girdle into the ground we're going to do two more here we go inhale really squeeze exhale leave those shoulders squeezed up to the ears as you try to pull them back and then exhale flip the palms push the whole thing down last one inhale pull it around and up really squeeze Exhale, bring those shoulder blades together and everything comes back down. Excellent. Cool. Take a moment to just do a couple gentle shoulder rolls. Shake it out. Other direction. Beautiful. Cool. Now we're going to bring our fingertips to the tops of our shoulders. So your thumb will be behind the shoulders and your fingertips will be in front of the shoulders. You wanna keep your elbows stretched out nice and wide. See how my elbows are level with my shoulders? Challenge yourself to not have some chicken wings. Let's pull them way up here, okay? Good. And we're gonna start to just swim with our elbows. One elbow coming forward as the other elbow circles back. Make sure you're breathing the whole time. Cool. And we're going to switch directions in five, four, three, two, one. Reverse. Sitting up nice and tall. Friendly reminder to pull that belly button to the spine. So it's helping to support you as you sit up nice and tall. Five, four, three, two. Come back to center. One. Good. Bring the elbows to try to meet in front of the chest. Maybe they get there, maybe they don't. We're going to stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Draw. The shoulders are drawing down my back as my elbows are reaching towards the sky. So I've got this really nice opposition going, right? I can feel quite a bit of stretch through the tops of my shoulders. And we're going to stay here. Remember, actively pressing the shoulders towards the ground as the elbows are actively trying to reach to the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one. Now the elbows are going to try to touch behind my back. They're not going too far today, and that's okay. My shoulder blades are squeezing together. I'm still pressing my whole shoulder girdle down towards the ground. My elbows are reaching towards the back of, my, of the room, towards those French doors behind me. And we're going to stay here. Deep breaths. Five. Four, three, two, one. Release them down and back around to the front. Here we go. Three, two, one. Same motion, but we're going to hold it for less time. Three, two, one. And back. Three, two, one. Good. Now let's start to turn this into some fluid circles, but really paying attention to how the shoulders are moving. 
trying to not allow the shoulders to squeeze uh, scrunch up towards the ears as we do this the whole time actively pressing the shoulders towards the ground good reverse the uh, direction of your circles so the elbows will go backwards and the shoulder blades will connect and then we'll kind of loop the shoulders forward with a concave chest like a cat spine good okay come to stillness go ahead release the arms shake it out We've got just one more thing to do seated here. Uh, go ahead and we're gonna bring an elbow, either elbow, to the ground so that we're getting a nice side stretch here. Maybe the elbow doesn't make it to the ground, mine isn't today, that's fine. If that's the case, you can come up on fingertips or on the palm. If you're seated, you can grab the bottom of your chair, the underneath. Well, we're just trying to get a really nice um, side stretch, opening up each bone of the rib cage, right? Trying to make create some space over here. So I'm not allowing my chest to um, cave in towards my knee. I'm trying to keep my shoulders stacked again, squeezing those shoulder blades together so that I have a nice open heart space. And your opposite hand can come to the hip or to the knee, whatever feels really good for you here. Take a deep inhale and exhale, really trying to open up the side body. And then we're going to bring the fingertips up, the fingertips that are not on the ground, up along the ear. And then they're going to come over the head and add a little extra oomph to our side stretch here. I am really pressing both of my hips into the ground to try to make sure that my hips are anchored and I'm not pulling up and cheating, right? I'm gonna get a better stretch if I leave my hips anchored and I really shoot energy out of my fingertips. Three breaths here in this side stretch. <sighs> if you wanna bring the stretch up into your neck as well, you can turn your nose to look up at the uh, elbow crease of the arm that's overhead. <sighs> Final deep breath here. And on the exhale, we'll lift back up to center and take it to the other side. All right. So the opposite elbow tries to come to the ground. Maybe it gets there, maybe it doesn't. We can come onto fingertips or the palm, or we can grab the underneath of our chair if we're seated. Remember, either which way, we're keeping our chest nice and open. The shoulder blades are trying to connect behind us. Take a deep inhale, trying to separate the bones of the rib cage and the side body. Ah, exhale it out. Next inhale is going to take our fingertips of the hand that is not on the ground. It's going to bring it past our ear and above our head so that we're increasing the side stretch. Nice little bonus stretch here. If this is too much for you, you can just hang out where we were. We'll meet you, meet you back there. Three deep breaths here in this lovely side stretch. Try to actively press those shoulders away from the ears, squeezing the shoulder blades. Maybe the nose turns to look at the elbow crease of the arm that's stretched up overhead. <sighs> Sigh it out if it feels good. You're in your living room. No one can hear you, and even if they can, who cares? Do what you got to do for you. Last inhale. Exhale. Come back to seated. You know, when we show up for ourselves and we take care of ourselves, it is we are so much more capable of being there for others, right? So let's come to uh, tabletop, all fours. I like to put a blanket underneath my cranky old lady knees. So if that's what you would like to do, go ahead and take a moment to do that. And then we're going to take a moment to really set up a very nice tabletop here. We are not even going to stand today. We are going to be super chill and super gentle. So we're going to take a moment to really establish our tabletop position. You want the knees right under the hips, right? And my wrists are right under my shoulders. Nice straight line here. I am really separating all of my fingers and pressing my palms into the mat. And I am pressing the tops of my feet and my shins into the mat. My belly button is pulled to my spine and my vision is towards the top of the mat so that I'm lengthening my neck. I have a bad habit of dropping my chin. Try not to do that, okay? Inhale, we're gonna drop the chest. Again, really emphasize, we're trying to fatigue those shoulder muscles that might nod up, right? So really emphasize squeezing the shoulder blades together in this cow position as you inhale and the nose, look, the nose and the eyes look up, getting a throat stretch in there as well. Exhale, press through the palms press through those tops of the feet 
to really use your resistance against the ground to get into this cat spine on the exhale, belly button to spine. Inhale to cow. Squeeze those shoulder blades, draw them away from the ears. Exhale, press through the palms, press through the tops of feet, belly button to spine, exhale, cat. Three more like this, inhaling. Exhaling to cat. Inhale, really squeeze those shoulder blades together, the hips and the tops of the shoulders lift towards the ceilings. Exhale, cat spine, draw the abdomen. Belly button to spine, cat spine, one more. Inhale to cow, exhale, press through to cat, good. Take your big toes together, separate the knees as wide as the mat, press back through the palms so that your hips come to your heels. And we're coming to our first child's pose. You might wanna walk your hands out in front of you a little bit to um, increase the stretch you feel here in the upper arms and the shoulders since we just spent so much time working on them. Mm, great, three deep breaths here. Allowing yourself on the exhale to make any sound that feels good and nourishing for you today. Last deep breath. Inhale and exhale, press back up to tabletop. Walk the knees back under the hips. Make sure the wrists are aligned underneath the shoulder blades. And we're gonna go into threading the needle, something a little bit different today. Bring the right hand underneath the face, okay? The left fingertips are going to uh, trace the inside of the right arm like your bow and arrow, okay? We're all the way across the chest until the left fingertips are up at the ceiling, okay? We're gonna make this a dynamic movement. Usually we thread the needle underneath the right armpit and we just chill. We're gonna do three dynamic movements before we settle, okay? So on the inhale, we're gonna really stretch up to the ceiling. Exhale, we're gonna draw the fingertips underneath the right armpit. The left shoulder is gonna come to touch the ground, but then we're gonna inhale and bring those fingertips right back up to the ceiling. And exhale, thread that needle, good. Don't rest, because we're doing one more. Inhale up to the ceiling. Really draw it nice and long. And then exhale, fingertips under the right armpit. This time the, right, the left shoulder, the left cheek or ear will come to the mat. And the right fingertips will walk towards the top of the mat, pressing into the palm so that you get a really nice side stretch in the right side body, as you should be able to feel the left um, shoulder opening, the space between the spine and the shoulder blade here. Three deep breaths. The hips are still lifted, I'm trying to maintain a 90 degree angle um, in the knees, the bend of the knees. Final deep inhale and exhale. Replace the right hand by the face so that when the next inhale, the left fingertips can come up to the ceiling one last time before they settle. Take it to the other side. The left palm rests uh, under the face in the middle of the mat. As we inhale, we draw these right fingertips up along the inside of the left arm across the chest until we open, really stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale, exhale to thread the needle. Inhale, reach it up to the ceiling. Exhale, thread that needle. Last one, inhale, really stretch, 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 last one. And as we exhale, we're threading the right fingertips underneath the left armpit. This time the right shoulder, right cheek, right ear is coming to the mat. And we're walking the left fingertips towards the top of the mat, pressing into the palm, using that resistance to get a nice side body stretch in the left. As we're... Um, as this position is causing the um, right shoulder blade here to kind of separate, uh, draw a little bit further away from the spine, really getting into those muscles there that like to tense up and knot up. Three deep breaths. Final inhale. Final exhale, side it out. <sighs> Replace the left hand by the face and press into it to inhale those fingertips back up to the ceiling. And we are coming back to uh, tabletop position. 
Good. We're going to take a moment to stretch out our toes. I'm going to turn back so my knees are on my blankie. Um, so tuck your toes underneath. This is called intense toe stretch. So if it's too t intense for you, you can choose your level of intensity by how much weight you press on the feet. I'm going to start walking my hands back towards my knees. Maybe you want to keep some weight in your hands. But what I'm trying to do is get a really nice stretch through the arch of my foot. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and sit up on my feet because I'm interested in a deeper foot stretch today. If this is too much for you, that's fine. You can have some weight, like I said, in your hands. Three deep breaths here. <sighs> Last inhale and exhale. We're going to go ahead and drop the hips off to either side so that we're going to come to sit with our legs stretched out in front of us. Good. We're going to sit here with some really um, gentle knees, not locked out knees. Nice little uh, soft knees here. The toes are going to flex back towards the face. And we're going to do a seated forward fold. So I'm going to take a moment here to make sure I'm sitting up nice and straight, drawing my belly button to my spine. I'm going to inhale to draw my fingertips out and up overhead. Take a moment here to just enjoy this position. Exhale, make sure the shoulders are not creeping up towards the ears. One more inhale. And on the exhale, draw the belly button to the spine, maintaining a flat back for as long as you can as you start to hinge forward from the hips. And then eventually folding over your nice soft knees here. We're going to stay here for five deep breaths. Maybe it feels good to have a pillow underneath your knees or underneath your head, between your, your head and your knees or your shins. Whatever we're doing, we're drawing the belly button to the spine, thinking of the, um, the hips and the sits bones. They want to go back towards the back, right? And your head and your toes, they want to go forwards out the front of the mat so that we're really trying to lengthen the whole body, getting a nice stretch in the spine and the low back. Final inhale here. Exhale, slowly roll back up to seated. Cool. We're going to take the right foot. We're going to cross it over the left leg and stomp it on the ground here. Okay. That, and then the left arm is going to in, come up next to the bicep. Bicep to ear. Excuse me. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, yes, left arm, bicep to ear, up on the inhale. And then on the exhale, we're going to hug that right knee with the left arm to invite a nice gentle twist to open up to the right side. And we're going to bring the right hand behind us to um, utilize as a second spine. And if you can, maybe even the nose looks over the right shoulder so that we have this lovely twist originating from the abdomen, from the belly button, all the way up the spine. Twists are excellent for digestion, for activating digestion. Twists are also excellent for detoxification of the internal organs. One more deep inhale here. Exhale, tw on twist, unravel, release the right leg as we bring the left leg to the outside of the right thigh, stamp that left foot onto the ground. Inhale, bringing the right arm up towards the ceiling, right bicep next to ear. And as we exhale, we're going to introduce a nice gentle twist towards the left side of the room, drawing the belly button to the spine so that the twist originates from the abdomen, hugging the left knee with the right leg, making sure that this hip is staying glued to the ground as I twist to look over my left shoulder. My left hand comes uh, to rest maybe six inches behind my sacrum where the pelvis meets the spine to help support me sitting up nice and tall. Deep breaths here. The deeper you breathe, the more benefits you will get. The more you kind of wring out the organs to detoxify them and stimulate digestion. Final inhale. Exhale, unravel everything, and we're going to slowly lower down. I will meet you on our backs. Come to lying on your back. 
and uh, both soles of the feet will be on the ground so that you have a nice uh, bend in the knees here. And we're going to go right to my in pose. So we're going to cross over the left knee. Good. And we're going to draw this figure four shape that we've created towards the face by lifting the left foot up off the floor. Thread both hands behind the left thigh or behind the left shin. And then utilize that right elbow, if you want a deeper stretch, this is optional, to press out. I'm not pressing out on the knee exactly. I'm pressing out just above the knee so that I don't stress my knee out. Both of my feet are flexed to protect my knees. And then I'm going to draw this whole shape towards my face as little or as much as possible to get a nice stretch in the hip. Five deep breaths here for about 40 seconds. We're going to be here in Recline Pigeon. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable doing so. And start to return to that gentle mindset that we cultivated when we were doing the Nadi Shodana Pranayama or the, um, the balancing breath that we were doing um, earlier in practice to balance the hemispheres of the brain, to balance the hemispheres of the two different lungs. See if you can be present with your breath and allow your thoughts to pass. Take it one step even further and see if you can allow your thoughts to pass you by without judgment, without placing anything on those thoughts, good or bad. They're just thoughts. One more deep inhale. And exhale, we're going to take this side, this, um, this shape over into a twist. So you have two options here. You can either allow the right um, foot to slide so that your knees are on top of one another, so that we're coming into um, a supine twist with um, our knees crossed, our legs crossed. This is just going to increase the intensity a little bit. And if this is not working for you, then go back to our traditional supine twist. We do every gentle yoga for all bodies with the knees stacked. Either which way, we're going to hang out here for five breaths, 30 to 45 seconds. Honing our meditative, quiet mind. Recognizing that feelings are not facts and that we can actually change our minds and change the way we feel through the breath. Breath work is an amazing thing to have in your stress reduction toolkit. There's plenty of um, data and science behind the fact that it truly does soothe our nervous system and allow our sympathetic nervous system or our fight or flight nervous system to relax and not be engaged. When that happens, our rest and digest or parasympathetic nervous system kicks in. And that's when true healing happens in the body, even down to a cellular level, when we're able to truly rest and relax. Inhale, draw the knees back to the chest. This time the left ankle is going to cross over the right knee. Maybe you pull the foot down just to help stabilize you and reset yourself. Remember, both feet are flexed as we draw the figure four shape towards the face. Thread the hands behind the right thigh. Maybe we use that left elbow to press just above the knee to increase that, uh, that hip stretch in the left hip here. Recline pigeon. Five deep inhales and exhales. When our mind is engaged, it is absolutely impossible for our bodies not to also be engaged. Any thought that is passing through your mind is amalgamated in the body somehow, somewhere, by some muscle tightening or maybe the feeling of warmth or heat gathering in your chest. Our mind can truly indicate to our body how to hold itself, 
So in order for us to truly rest our bodies and allow it to regenerate, we need to be able to let go of our thoughts and let go of any judgments we might hold around those thoughts. Just the hardest thing. <laughs> That's all it is, just the hardest thing. But we can do it with practice. We can do anything we set our minds to. Human beings are truly amazing that way. And the human body can be taught. Can be taught anything that we put our minds to. All right. Release the grip on your hands and either cross at the uh, cross the left leg over so that you're crossed at the knees to fall to drop the knees to the side to fall into a twist or go ahead and stack those knees if this is more comfortable. knees into the chest, wrap our arms around the knees, take a moment here to give ourselves a big hug, take a moment here too to practice gratitude to yourself for taking this time out today. I thank you for practicing here with me. And on the exhale, we're going to fall out into our Shavasana, our final resting pose or corpse pose. Our legs are splayed out, mat width distance, maybe further, whatever's comfortable for you. The arms are splayed out. Sometimes laying flat on the back can be really uncomfortable for the low back. If that's the case, I welcome you to stomp your soles of feet on the ground about mat width distance apart and knock your knees together for a constructive rest. This is fine too if this works better for your body. Either which way, we're going to allow ourselves to rest with a clear mind absorbing the benefits of the practice we just shared together. We're going to start by thanking our feet, our legs, our knees, our hips. And we do that by allowing them to relax. No tension in the ankles or the calves, the quads, the glutes all release into the earth, melting like lava, letting go of any tension they might be holding. And we'll do the same for our upper body, thanking the hands for all they do for us, wrists, forearms, upper arms, elbows, shoulders. Hips, low back, middle back, shoulder blades, and the shoulder girdle we spent so much time with today. They let go and release in a way that maybe they haven't felt in a long time. Knowing that there's no need in this present moment to hold on to anything. The belly releases. We allow the internal organs to take more space. There's no need to hold anything in. The jaw is not clenched. The teeth have a bit of space between them and the tongue floats freely in between the teeth, not glued to the roof of the mouth. 
This allows the muscles of the neck to release and relax into the ground. As we thank the neck, the head, the eyes, and all of our senses for everything it does they do for us. There's no expression on the face. The brows are not furrowed. Even the scalp is relaxed and releasing. As we visualize every muscle, all the fascia in the body slowly turning into warm, hot lava, melting back, seeping into the earth, returning to the core, fully letting go. As I leave you in silence for the next moment to rest and truly absorb the benefits of this practice in a quiet Shavasana or final resting pose. Begin to deepen your inhale and deepen the exhale, pressing the belly button to the spine. The next inhale is so deep that it starts to stir the body, the fingers, the toes, rolling out the wrists and the ankles, nodding the head from side to side, maybe licking the lips. On your next inhale, the fingertips will lift up towards the ceiling and then back behind your head so that your biceps rest on the ground next to the ears and you're long on your back stretching from fingertips to toes and really pull in opposition to stretch out the body on your next exhale the knees will come into the chest and you'll roll over to either side into the fetal position Resting the head on the arm and eventually pull yourself back up to a cross-legged seat or any sort of seat that feels comfortable for you. Returning to where we began, where we met today. Take a moment to sit up nice and tall. Close the eyes if you feel comfortable. And once again, Focus on your connection to any surface you may be seated on. Scanning the body from head to toe to simply take notice without any judgment of how you may feel differently than you did when we began. Bring the palms to meet in front of the chest, locking the thumbs into that little notch in the sternum. Taking a moment here once again to thank yourself for taking time for you today. Then we'll bring the thumbs up to the third eye center and bow to the ground if it feels comfortable for you. The light in me acknowledges and honors the light within you. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone, for practicing with me today. This is Gentle Yoga for All Bodies with Prosperous Yoga, which is me, Tara. Hi. This is a donation-based class. This was our last Saturday class. This is also our last class on Facebook Live. We will be streaming from YouTube Live and from Zoom. Uh, if you're on Facebook, my email address is in the description of the event so that you can uh, email me if you need more information or if you would like the Zoom link.
the recordings will also be up on the Prosperous Yoga YouTube. You can just search Prosperous Yoga on YouTube and we'll come up. And I'm going to turn off my camera and leave you with the donation information. Again, I do want to encourage you to join us, whether you can donate or not. $10 suggested donation. The donations for August will be going to Trans Lifeline. If you feel more comfortable donating directly to them, there's a link up on the screen right now. And just to reiterate once more, class will be moving to Tuesdays, beginning this Tuesday, August 18th at 12 p.m. noon. So hopefully you can join us on your lunch break. And if not, you can watch the recording on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a beautiful weekend and a gorgeous rest of your Saturday. And I will see you Tuesday on YouTube or here on Zoom. Thank you. Da, 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 da. will show up and the recordings from our past gentle yoga for all bodies are up there as well if they're uh, it really helps to level out the nervous system empty out the lungs any um, stale air that might be in there um, and it's all about balance because we're going to be doing a right to left with the hands to, to the ceiling five nice side stretch in the right side body as you should be able to feel the left um, shoulder Notice how the body, just by uh, settling in and welcoming ourselves, 